Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to an episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today we have in the driveway Troy built TB240 self-propelled lawnmower. Believe it or not, I sold this to a guy a little bit over a year ago, and it is back here in the driveway for as you know. No So, he said he was cutting the grass, had to go around, and it died on him, and he couldn't restart it. He actually changed a couple of the stories. First said it wouldn't run, then he said it wouldn't run and die. So the first thing I did is I picked up a lawnmower, and I just checked underneath, right? See if he hit something, because then you might know that that's a telltale sign that he could have sheared a keyway or something like that. There's a little bit of a nick, but nothing to write home about. So, sniff the gas, smells fresh. He said that he topped off the oil, which is like a little odd, but it is what it is. So let's confirm and just see what happens without trying to take this thing apart and go crazy. So we, verif so we hit some go-go juice in there, right through the carburetor. We verified spark. We verified air. We verified compression. What are we missing? Because we need, com we need all these components to make combustion. We're missing fuel. It ran and died because the go-go juice burns off and there's nothing else to replace this. So. We know that this is a fuel-related issue. Now, ironically, right, I don't know if it's something in the area or not. This is the third, maybe fourth lawnmower I've had to deal with, with something of this nature. I hope. I hope. We won't know until we take it all apart. So Hondas are pretty easy. Everything's 10 millimeter, and uh, we'll get this thing rocking. All right, 10 millimeter. Boom. That's really it. This is the auto choke design. To pull away the... Oh, everything came off. Huh. All right. That's not supposed to happen. Let's pull this all out. That's with this guy. Okay, that one in there. Fuel. Off. Let's take off this fuel. Oh. Okay. Here is our carburetor. Now he did say he tried taking off the nut. And you could see that he did because this is damaged. So let's Drop this. Kind of don't like that he took this apart. Put that here. And here is the scary part. Look, there is no fuel coming into this carburetor at all. Well, that's nice and easy. So let's see. let's put this back. Let's see what's going on here. Let me get you guys closer. If you don't mind. Now, I wonder. I know I'm talking. I wonder if Honda has. A built in. See, that's steady fuel flow. That's weird. <laughs> 
See that? Put my mouth on this, and I can blow through it. So that's weird too. Huh. Let's open this one more time. That's fuel flow. Let me see if I can get my air gun. We're gonna blow some compressed air. All right, now compressed air. Now I'm gonna put the fuel cap just right over it. Because what do you think is going to come out? Okay, that's open. Can open it up. It's going to be a little. I don't know if you guys could see, but the fuel cap is fluttering. Now just because, right? Let's just open this up. Let's, let's revert. Let's revert. Because this is open anyway, right? Let's just send it down the hole. And I, I can see the, the air coming out. It has nothing to do with the float level. And you know, let's pull this out too, just for poops and giggles. This is your idle circuit. Idle circuit out. Might as well, right? It's pretty simple. Just blow it down the hole. That's it. I'm not even gonna go crazy and pull the jet. Because I don't like it's like I said, this is bone dry. Put this back together. That's that. Let's just blow this car off. Let's get this. Probably should have done it before I took it apart, but whatever. Alright, so let's get this back in the way they intended it to be. What the hell is this? Something come out? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so this, oops, this will go here. This is controlled. Like so, alright, so let's get this in carburetor first, right? This is gonna big hole rod. This hole. Second. So now we will get this. This is why we need a jack stand, especially on Hondas. We'll keep everything in the You guys can get a good look at that. It's as good as it's going to get. This thing here pushes down on this mechanism here. If we open it, it won't shut, but if we have it this way, it will remain closed. Big into small. Put that back in there. So this is why this needs to be on the angle. Kind of case bent to towards the engine that away. So this came out. 
It's like the finicky part about Honda's. It's a lot. To line up and assemble and get in the hole. I'm using my ratchet because it feels a little tight. And if I use my impact, right, I can't tell if I'm stripping it from threading it the right way. So the ratchet, I get a feel. And there's nothing wrong with going by hand. Air tools are supposed to speed things up. But if you use them wrong, your life miserable. So let me just... Milwaukee has this cool thing here, it's just going to make it snug. See that? That's it. And then I can go back with my ratchet and give it the torque test. Let's open up the fuel. Okay. Let's see. We have five. Now we have fuel flow. Let's tighten up this gas cap. air filter cover on. I'm just going to test this thing out. Alright, so let's see how she does. Obviously it's bogging down, right? This guy cuts his grass way too low. It's like a freaking scalping. So I wonder... Let's try it. can't do my front yard. More.
All right, guys. That's it. Paul's got to tell him to come pick it up. Tell him to raise his freaking... Look at this, man. This is how you kill Greg. That's way too short. Whatever. Idiot. Um, yeah, so that's it. If you guys found this video helpful, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Tay's Performance. Later. <laughs>